I don't think you need a, a, any 8XDs. Welcome to the tour segment with old <laughs> Jack Wheeler here. Now I want to show y'all something right here. Y'all complained about me having, you know, 10 rods and 12 tackle trays. Well, let me show you something right here. We got tackle. What in the world? What do you need all them lures for, man? We see when the bass ain't spawning out here and the dang, you got the cold fronts that come in, you don't get them bites, so you gotta have multiple different selections of lures. We got popping frogs, popping corks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look back here, man. Hey, <laughs> holy ask cow. For the, ask for the crappie and the, uh, the white bass, the bluegill. <laughs> we got the bluegill too. We got, we got it all, man. I'm not a, just a bass. I catch it all. Look at these there go rocket launchers, son. Hey. What? I got the biggest rocket launcher in the thing in the lead series. You look like Dagum. Um, RPGs. Optimus Prime just rolled up to the boat ramp. <laughs> look at that. Look at that motor, man. I've never seen one of them things. Me and Rob joke about the terror, but he's actually on the real terror. The actual terror where you actually need all that stuff. You never know what you're gonna get into to. Look at this rig, man. That gum. I feel so incompetent now. I'm yeah. with my little truck with no lift. I got four rods, three well, tackle trays. You don't, you don't exactly need a lift. It looks like Kim Jong-un is about to put his rockets on top of his truck. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we got my boat, the whole, just nothing, nothing wrapped. Go Dragon. I like it. I it's simple. Any, there's no pro stuff on it. Dang it. You know what though? You know what we have a lot more of is camera gear. Just give us by the end of the day, the end of it will look bad. It always starts out like it's just bare, right. clean. We act like we're like on some hot bite and we're just like, gotta take our clothes off, start throwing them back. We gotta keep going. I know, Whoa. like we can't take five <laughs> seconds to put it into we a don't. freaking <laughs> compartment, all these beautiful <laughs> compartments you have. Okay, don't run over there with the shade that's on it. Yeah. Chad will be spawning on for the next hour and then it'll be gone. So we want to see it. I mean, if they're biting. I mean, if they if they're shattered spawning, which should be happening. They spawn on humps. They spawn on humps. We'll find out. Woo! Look at them grass. Look at them computers. Oh my gosh! Dude. Hey, don't be hating on my uh, grass. No, I love it, dude. These I got the same things. And GoPros and a big camera and another camera. We got more cameras in this boat than literally ESPN. Dude, there's more lenses <laughs> and more screens. <laughs> We got from this place, you cannot then cast. LeBron James's Escalade. I'll go down that right bank, you go down the left bank, we'll go down to there. We'll call them good. It's all good. You want me to show you how it's done? I mean, first of all, your trolling motor's on 19. It's on, it's on 10. The it's fish can hear you coming. You gotta understand, like, we're trying to dial it in, you know? So you're going top, I'm going bottom. That's what you're saying. I don't know if it's bottom between. between, isn't it? It's kind of in between. Look at that wobble, dude. That thing's got a really good how, little wobble. How, how can you resist that? Oh, nice. they are spawning. Shatter spawning. You did see them? Yep, they're spawning right there. You saw a follower? Oh, I just had them follow my bait. Shatter spawning. 1,000%. Are you, are you sure? I'm 1,000. Come thousand. on now. I, look at this juicy thing. Watch, I haven't watch, had anything watch, follow yo, watch it. Watch your bait. Watch it. Watch it. Mega bass. Oh, that's one of them high dollar jobs. High dollar jerk bites. Oh. I get two dozen water dogs for the price of that <laughs> mega bass, I <I'm> guess. <laughs> Yeah, you see what a couple of them were? They weren't, you didn't see them? Come on there now. There's like one of them right no there. No way, Are you bro. What in the world is going on here? You got ready. That gum, I, I wasn't ready for that. Bass like shade. They don't have eyelashes, so they like to uh, shield their eyes from the sun. I read that in Bassmaster Magazine. Yeah, that's Takamori, my hero, wrote it. Bassmaster magazine. Look at that. Look at that. I get that. That's funny. Let's see, that's like the average. Like they're nice quality fish. Great quality fish. Absolutely. Like two and a half. Oh, that's a good one. That's a decent one, man. That's a good one, actually. I didn't even see Hey, I'll give you one of these. I do want one. <laughs> I mean, I'm no, I'm no slouch. I'm not going to sit back here and Watch that little chartreuse sucker catch them all day. Hey, that is true. <laughs> no, you guys. He's already sucking his back off the worm bag. I got him on a day. It's all good. I love this thing. This is. Mm. That's all good. <laughs> that's how they. That's how they like it on these days, I guess. I'm learning me something. You see that action? Dang. Look at that, man. All right, nobody freak out right now, but we're doing we're doing something 
pretty wild. This is called Cheeto fishing. Right here, I just caught a fish. I, you, can you see this back here? Look at this thing. I mean, I don't even have to get the, that close to you, but look at this thing right here. That is a full-blown just Cheeto. We're skipping these things on spinning rods up under these trees right now. It's sight fishing. It's not bed fishing, but it's sight fishing. And you can literally watch this little methylate worm disappear into their mouth. They start swimming with it and you've got a fish on. It's pretty crazy. This thing's got tons of action and they can see it. You can see it. That's what makes it so fun. It's almost like fishing topwater, right? Uh, yeah. Kind of like fishing topwaters? Absolutely. You, you, I'm all about visual stuff. I like to say, the Cheeto worm is pretty dang cool. Show these fishing freaks a dang cast. All right, let's see it. Show, show them how so the this, is, this is done here. Unbelievable looking area right here. Definitely high percentage. I'm gonna cast my Cheeto worm, eight inch Cheeto worm. Look at that. Up there. Oh, you see how I skipped that thing? Okay, now you now I'm set, set up right there. And this thing really slow sinks. So I'm twitching him up high and keeping it up in the water column. Because a lot of times when the bass are spawning or just cruising, they're looking up. And then you watch it, you're basically, I mean, the water's pretty dirty. You can't really see the bass, but you watch this thing up in the high water column and you'll see it just disappear. You'll see all the orange Cheeto worm disappear. Yeah. We have a couple of them. Sometimes it's also really cool to cast it around though. Like, and you'll just find bass that you didn't know were there that were spawned. They'll just come up and look at it. And then you're like, dang, there's a bass. Oh, there's a bed. Yeah. Yep. Justin likes it. I love it. <laughs> I got to get my Cheeto out there and get another one. I'm here for you, so let's, uh, well, let's play ball. Uh oh. Oh. Bad gum. Telling I, the story. Dude, I mean, it's four stumps with sandy spots in the middle. What do you think that was? <laughs> that 100% bad fish. 100. Wow. I, saw the, I just saw the Cheeto disappear. Like, it, <laughs> I was looking at it the whole time while I was talking to you, and it just. It is gone. It was just gone. That's what's so cool pretty about easy it. To see that Cheeto too. It is. Pretty good, pretty easy to, to, to determine. Oh uh, yeah, it was actually down there a little bit too. Yeah. You know, it's probably down there like eight inches. Just fishing. Fishing Cheetos, man. You had one? Oh, it's a good one. Oh. Don't break them off, don't break them off, don't break them off. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, dude, your line's way over there. <laughs> Mm. Get him around there. Get over here first. That's good. Oh, no. oh. There he is gone. He had him wrapped around like two different trees. Hey, boys. Seven pound test for the fairy one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just lost a nice one. Some might call it a Megatron. A Cheeto worm. That gum Cheeto worm, man. Seven pound test. You better play the game right. Seven. Whew. I haven't fished seven pound test since I was at on Erie in 98. She looked wild. I, I was honestly watching my line more than the fish because I knew it was, a, it was around something. I couldn't see the stump and I was like, man, how do I get it? out of here and like I, it's like it happened too fast you know? yeah thank you trevor have a good one man i mean j-dub just got double strikes we did a little double, double strikes like i was like i thought you were looking at my i thought you seen the fish after my frog no i saw a boil and then i heard yours i was like oh, what's going on got him yes yes run him out freaking fluke <laughs> really i like hearing that he said you know what he's not even on it it's a little one uh, you think that other the frog that, boil that was bigger? That frogfish was a lot bigger than that. I'm telling, just the way it blew up on it, it just. So cool. Come here, little dabbler. Come here, you little dabbler. So get on here. Hey, when you get one this big, it's just bound to happen. <laughs> They're putting out a lot of water. You know what I mean? Hey. That, that's a giant. I'll give it a sniff. <sighs> <sighs> Still smells good. Another Cheeto fish. Let me show you guys how this this thing is rigged here how long is this thing eight inches it's oh get him heck yeah oh he ate it sorry for the interruption look at the look at the look at the oh my oh goodness my gosh. he Get is a here, squirter <laughs> wow calm down bro 
spawn that, 100% spawn that's, it. That's juice coming that, out. That's spawn juice. That, that, I was not gonna, gonna point it in your direction. So I Thank was, you. I mean, I think I... No, I think you might have got a little bit of <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That was cool. You know, you were pausing it. Yeah, I was, it, I was looking back and watching you and then... You never miss those. They just swallow no, they it. they swallow it. Wacky rig hook. Main thing is you see this meaty, beefy part right here. That's where you're going. The wacky style. It's got a lot of beef on this end, little beef on this end, so it kind of balances out in the water and then it's just doing its deal. And it's got a little dabbler on the end that gives it extra, extra action. A little dabbler on there. It's actually oh, yeah. like a five inch bait, but it has like three inches of like this tiny little, pretty legit action. It's, it's, it's heck, heck of an action. I had to switch to a frog. <gasps> oh No! There he is. That's a, big one, oh. that's, a, big that's, a one. that's a good one. Got a lot of grass on it. Oh, oh man! You help me out here, bud. I got you. A little grass in the face. Yes. You got her, dude. Got the. Mm. Do some dab. Dang. That's good stuff. Look at that Cheeto down the throat. <laughs> that is an awesome. That's crazy. That is crazy. Whew. That Cheeto. is pretty. Hey, hey, hey. didn't know Texas bass love Cheetos this much. Dude, that was like right under the tree. I see your rod load up and I was like, oh God. I thought it was on a stick. I couldn't see my Cheeto. I just went ahead and sent it. <laughs> God dang, dude, that thing ate it good too. That one's been beat up a little bit. Like it's yeah, been up there spawning. Yep. It's not like ugly beat up, but you can tell. It's Definitely just, a post spawner. Yeah, post spawn, spawner. Post spawn. Late post spawn, post spawn. Got to love it. Thanks for the awesome Cheeto bite. Finally got one landed. Give it a little tickle. One more jump, maybe? One more jump, or are you gonna ease out of here? <laughs> Just gonna ease, okay. It's all right. Oh, oh that's a charger. Heck yeah, man. Gosh. Flip him. Yes! Yes, sir. Hey, this is a fun bite. Huh? This is a fun bite. Frogs and then, and then the visuals. Cheetos? Yeah, frogs and Cheetos, man. Frogs and Cheetos. Got to love it, baby. I mean, rushed it and then just paused. I think it might be on a it's bed right there. Definitely on a bed. Come on, baby. Come up there and grab that Cheeto. He's on it. Oh my God. He's on it. Nice. You saw that? Straight up rushed it. Uh oh. Just throw that sucker in there. Change the game here. Let it fall. Let's see. There it is again. Got it. Got her. Big. Oh, big there fish. you go. That's awesome. I don't know if that's that was the same that's one, but probably the big female. Uh, maybe that was that's the male. That other fish was like five. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Oh, daggum. Well, uh, oh, bass. oh, bass. all the way back, Big. dude. That frog has to be sent in there. Exactly why you go to East Texas. Frog down the throat. Gosh, dang! Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. <laughs> I get to I do. I get so excited when I catch them like that. Oh man, thank you, baby. Love that stuff, dude. That's a solid toad. Dang big and We've just been dabbling the the Cheeto and the frog up there in the shallows. Look at that fat, healthy fish, man. You're right on the money. Seven and a half pounder. When you catch them like that, look at that, look at that mouth. That's a big old mouth right there. That look at that. Dude, she almost like ripped my arm off right there. <laughs> See ya. Dude, that's awesome. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Good one? Yeah. Good one. Swimming right after my worm. I thought it was about to get stomped. Yeah, All right. Yeah, it's absolutely. time for the cricket. Yep. Got two bass here. Tough responded to the Cheeto. I'm gonna throw this cricket in there very gently. Get ready. 
Oh yeah, she's already turning on it. She's already rolling on it. It's about to happen. It literally is. Got to give it a dangle. Okay, pro tip, pause. Slide this weight up so that way like it's in there. When, when it's in there. It's like it's real shallow. Yeah. So that'll flat up and then you know, this one will be in that grass. Nice. I mean, just made out on it. That's just my theory on it. All right, it's going down now. She's on the right. That's here. Oh, oh male's going after it. Come on, get mad. Oh, he's got it. Has he got it? He's got it. Oh, I don't know. Bad fish. Yeah. That's, good. I just couldn't tell. They were both nose down. Get back in there. I'm gonna hold him right here. Okay. Hold the hold right technique. We might get we might get both here. Here we go. Come on, baby. Got her. Got her. Yes. Got her. Oh, come here. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. oh gosh. Oh, come here. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Holding both fish right now. What? Dude, dude that's awesome. <laughs> dude. Female. Female. That is crazy. That's awesome. Look what at that, the man. Heck? <laughs> that is give textbook, that. man. Textbook. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I give you a fish yeah, yeah, bump. <laughs> it's like, that's crazy. They're fresh, dude. Those man. are, you see how thick Look at they that. are? Look at that. I mean, that was probably out of water recently, eh? Absolutely. Water just came up. <sighs> Hold the mail there. Too awesome. Got to love it. All right, guys, go back there and get on your bed. Do your thing. There they go. Like that. I mean, I'm clapping them. That is phenomenal. I mean, you can't get any better than that. Just saw them right there in the shade. Just Literally. Their tails going up and then. Done. Wow. Watch this work. Magic. I think these fish are like locking down because it's afternoon. I think right it now. is. I think it's just sort of one of those things that just started coming up. Hit the full moon. Look, Look at that. that. Those are bluegill big chaser, moon. man. That's a big one, dude. Big old swirl out there. And we just literally got in the back of this pocket and they're everywhere. I seen one up there. I seen one right here. A little while later from that awesome moment in time, frog fish, double bed fish. But here's what's going on. It's full moon today. Is today the 31st? I believe so. I think it is the 31st. That is the full moon. This is what I've been talking about for weeks, y'all. And we're watching it happen this afternoon. Literally. They are coming up as we speak right now. It's dumb. Good ones. Big like, ones. The big ones are coming. We're watching five swimming around. This is new water. The lake's been, it's up. And these fish are in the mood. And they're coming to that new water right now. And they're settling in. We might stop on a seven. Oh, if it's a seven? If it's like, if that's like a five and a half. Dude, that's, 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 what that's, uh, the heck? That's another, that's a different fish because the other one's up there right now. That's a four. These are like big males. Like, yes. We're gonna, oh baby. We're gonna see Mondo. Grande size bass. Is that not a big one? That's a five, dude. It's gonna eat your swim bait. <laughs> Holy, oh my gosh, bro. That thing needs a Cheeto. There's two, they're paired. They were paired, they came off. Right. Oh my gosh, it's going down. It is going it is down. Happening. It's literally happening, dude. Oh my gosh, this is the time I just, oh my gosh. I've only, you only get this chance like a few times a year, quite honestly. Literally, it only happens for a few days during the whole year. That's all, I mean, it's like the most epic 24 hour period. <laughs> Oh, oh, what? Dude. What? Dude, he's, that sucker's mad. We gotta catch him. Okay. All right, we only have so much daylight. So do we do we keep going until we find a giant one? We caught a lot of big ones. Do we keep going until we find the giant ones? Or do we go and catch the three to five pounders that are swimming around everywhere? That's the move. <laughs> My mic just came off. You see I, that? Literally. See that? That's, that's what you call flustered by big bass. Yeah, that is the move. It's like, do we stop on these? Because these are these are good ones. These are good ones, but like... Worst day to have technical difficulties. Um, 
but my GoPro batteries, I'm on my last one and I'm full, my card's full. Tomorrow could be one of the best days. Actually, by the time this video goes up, the best fishing day, the best potential day to catch a giant has come and gone. The full moon on the 31st of March. The fish are also gonna be locked on a few days after that, so while you're watching this, it's probably going down. Get out there, give it a cast, make it count, and stick a mondo. This has been LFG on another episode of the LFG Network series. Five star rated on the internet. I love you, and I will see you on the next video. All right. JW? You. Yes, sir. Thank you. It was good stuff, buddy. Go give old J-Dub a follow on the grams and all that fun stuff on the internet. He's Lots out here fun. doing it. Absolutely. Just giving it a dangle. Dangling my dang cricket around. <laughs> Got to love it.